welcome to tds online math let's provide a solution to this problem we are given 3 to the power 8 minus x equals x minus 8 solution now let's represent x minus 8 by a variable so let's x minus 8 equals to t now you can also start by letting this one be a variable we get the same thing all right so let's do the substitution so we have 3 to the power 8 minus now since we are letting this one be a variable here let's solve x here and do substitution in order to work in terms of only one variable so we have x equals to 8 plus t so if we side is x minus 8 this side will be 8 plus t so in place of x i'll put 8 plus t over there so 8 plus t we are into the same bracket because the negative will affect everything here equals to so x minus 8 is now t we are free to go so the next step will cover this that will be 3 to the power 8 minus 8 minus t equals to t okay so this one will cancel this i will leave it 3 to the power minus t equals to t okay now when we have m to the power minus 1 the same as 1 over m so my left hand side as 3 to the power minus t will be 1 over or 1 on 3 to the power t equals t so we have 1 on 3 to the power t equals to t now let's make this side over 1 and do cross multiplication so from here 3 to the power t times t will be t times 3 to the power t equals to 1 times 1 1 all right now we want to find the value of t okay so we can only do that with the help of lambert w function all right now when we have e raised to ln of t the answer is t now when we have e raised to ln of box the answer is box before we can apply the lambert w function this tool is very very useful because when you take the w function of let's say alpha times g raised alpha what is here and what is there are equal so when you take lambert w function you get one so when you have the same thing here ln of t and take w function of this this side will be ln of t so that is the idea about lambert w function okay so we are working towards this on the left hand side so what we are going to do here is to support this thread to the party so i'll say t times so instead of writing this i'll write it as e raised to ln of 3 to the power t equals to 1. Now, when we are given e raised to 
m to the power c is the same as c okay so it's the same as e raised to c ln of m so this one has occupied this position that is called the power rule very useful okay so we have t e so my t will be here ln of 3 equals 1 remember we are working towards this so what is here must be equal to what is here now let's observe that we have t ln of 3 and we have only t so what is missing we have ln of 3 this one is missing so what we are going to do here is to multiply both sides by this in order to balance it therefore making it possible to you know find the lambert w function so if i multiply this side by t it will be t ln of 3 e raised to t ln of 3 equals to so let me take this one off so ln of 3 times 1 which is ln of 3 all right now check the left hand side and observe it carefully look at this t ln of 3 t ln of 3 so we are free to go let's take w function of that so we have w function of t ln of 3 e t ln of 3 let's check t ln of 3 t ln of 3 equals to ln of 3 because w function so of ln of 3 so remember the rule w function of alpha e raised alpha is alpha so check the answer is t ln of 3 equals to w function of ln of 3 all right so from here we can divide both sides by ln of 3 so ln of 3 ln of 3 so this one will cancel so we have t equals to w function of ln of 3 on ln of 3 now let's recall look we said x minus 8 equals t and we have to x so x minus 8 but t is equal to x minus 8 so let's plug in x minus 8 here equals to w function of this over that okay so i'll just add 8 to both sides of the equation that will be x equals to w function or 8 plus w function ln of 3 on ln of 3 as simple as that so this is the final answer all right so subscribe to this channel for more important videos like this all right